All right, people. Thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to show you this quick tip that I learned, and you may already have done this, but I know there's not a lot of information out with this version of Stable Diffusion. So, this is the Stable Diffusion 2.0 installation, uh, Automatic 1111, by, uh, I don't even know how to say his name, AI Tripreneur. Here's a link right here, but I'll put it in the description below. Show you exactly how to get this installed and get this super stable diffusion 2.0. It's amazing. It's doing the job now. It has its drawbacks. I think like they all do, but for the most part, you can create some really nice stuff if you do it right. This is about prompts, but this is about the styles thing here because I was just complaining that I wasn't complaining. But I was saying to myself, what would be nice to have a setting to where you can put your prompts in that you use normally all the time and you can just pop it in whenever you need it. And of course, they have that. Didn't know how it worked, but if you don't have this, then you need to go update it. And again, there's another video. I'll put a link to both videos. In the second video, he shows you how to go through all this and some tweaks. And one of them shows you how to um, put all this stuff in there. So, you can make it work. But right now we're going to show you how to do this right here, which as you can see, I already have some in here. A smooth prompt. And my Sam Jackson now. I don't know for some reason, Sam Jackson is just. Let me show you this real quick. It's just been the easiest to, to make these drawings with. I don't know why. This is Sam Jackson as Gollum that I did. Thanos. <laughs> and I tried with other people and I couldn't get good results, but certainly Sam Jackson works the best. So I said, let me put that in as a prompt. And that's what I did. So there you go. Sam Jackson. right there okay so what we came in for let me show you how to do this so let's go back to this okay so here's the full prompt i hear a lot of things that i like to use feel free to grab them no big deal you know i mix and match and put pieces together from what other people had done and came up with my own style my own way of doing things this doesn't produce the greatest results but uh just have to keep tweaking it but as an example so let's say that a man climbing a mountain now that's your main prompt so that's what you want to see you want to see a man climbing a mountain everything else just enhances or tells it how you want the man to be climbing the mountain what you want it to look like right here are these some styles of some people who you know do a certain type of painting or drawing and that helps with the results. You know, if you don't know what normal Rockwell is, it's old school, like myself. So what you do is you say, okay, well, this will change. There could be a girl skipping down the street or whatever, but these you want to keep the same. So what you would do is go up in here, copy that out. paste it in the prompt and then you would create a style for it so let's just say I don't know whatever you want to call it test style okay now I'm not going to do it because I already have my own prompts in there and I think this one's already in there too but once you see I do it hit OK Cancel that. Don't get an error. But I knew that though. So it was just reloaded. Got to get rid of that. So let's say smooth prompt, which basically looks the same as that. So it'll show up in this list right here. And you basically just click smooth prompt, plot the style. There it is. It's like that. So you don't have to rewrite everything 
every time. If you know there are certain prompts that work for you and you're doing a certain style, you can just put it in as that style, write your lead, you know, whatever. Kids running down the street. Oh, that's not good. Stay out of the street, kids. And then pop your prompt in. Boom. Just look for a little stuff like that. Make sure you got your right spacings. And there you have it. So then just hit generate. And I, don't, I have no idea what's going to come out of this, but let's do it. Why not? Let's sit and watch some magic happen. Hopefully, my computer won't crash because I've been running this thing like crazy. Kids running the street. I didn't put down on there, so now we're really going to see. We're going to see some kids running the street. Give it time. It takes about, takes me about two minutes. Because my uh, computer is very slow. I actually was running this on AMD before. I got it working and uh, it was taking like eight minutes for one photo. But I went and uh, got a little cheap NVIDIA card, T600, put it in, took some tweaking, but I got it down to under two minutes. So well, maybe about two minutes and 20 seconds, two minutes, 30 seconds. So, which is much better than it was. It was killing me sitting here six seven eight minutes and then sometimes i wouldn't get the results or sometimes i wouldn't even get it, it would just crash but i got everything running got the cooter running got the torch running it took a while figured it out like i said the videos that he put up and the help videos that he followed up with were amazing he stuck with the people that were having trouble he didn't give up on us and, uh, you know, he kept pushing. So we had a problem. He tried to fix it or find the answer. He also does a complete overview of everything that uh, works, how everything works in here or what it does. So that was amazing, too, and very helpful. So those are a few tweaks. I know you want to make changes. And this is not bad. And I'll probably do another video showing how you can bring a picture in and get the prompts out of a picture. He talks about that already, but there's a few more details that can go along with that. That'll help. And uh, you bring a picture in, get the prompts out of it, then send it over here. It automatically populate it up there. And then you can either make a variation of that picture or uh, actually create the same picture. This kid is moonwalking here. Yeah, it still has a it has a long way to go. I mean, you saw the ones with Thanos. The faces, if it does a close-up face, it can really get in and do some details. But hands, arms, feet, it really struggles. I mean, you really got to be, forgive the plane going over here if you hear that. But you really got to be, your prompts have to be tight. I mean, you can't have too many references and things of that nature that I'm learning. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see. Yep, and I automatically popped it in here. There's a mountain climbing one I did there. I don't think he's really climbing the mountains where he's swinging like Tarzan, but. He's having a good time, so that's all that matters. And again, we got to look at. 
<laughs> I love this. And I am going to leave you with Sam Jackson. Ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out those links below. Very helpful. Get it installed. Get it going. And have some fun like this. Thank you.